Am I hearing this right? The Outlaw Pass 5 is good? What? <laughs> Let's get straight into the video. So what I'm seeing recently is the Outlaw Pass 5 is good. Yeah, okay, let me try that. The Outlaw Pass is good. It's so good. Nah, see, that, I, I feel like I'm lying to myself. The Outlaw Pass 5 is not good. And I'm not going to say any names, but I'm seeing players, some players say the Outlaw Pass 5 is good. And I'm also seeing YouTubers saying the Outlaw Pass 5 is good. I'm not going to say any names, you know, it's not about that. I'm not that type of person. Um, people do what they do, you know. I, I don't have the right to tell people how they do things or how they feel. You know, that's that, that would make me a bad person. But anyway... No judgment, but I am seeing YouTubers that I know, uh, YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of just general players saying the Outlaw Pass 5 is good. Now, <laughs> for you new players, you will think the, the Outlaw Pass 5 is good. Understandably, you will, because you don't know any different. You wasn't around for Outlaw Pass 1, 2, 3, I won't include 4. That was alright, but 5 was bad. 5 is bad. 1, 2 and 3 were great. The first 2 were amazing. Number 2 was the best. And I'm going to leave a video in the description. And it is me covering Outlaw Pass 1 to 5. And if you guys are, you know, you don't have experience from the old Outlaw Passes. Go ahead and watch that and maybe you will feel different. Um, but yeah, understandably the new players would, would think that. I, I completely understand that. But when we've got players... YouTubers, you know, general content creators saying the Outlaw Pass 5 is good and they've been around since beta days. They've had Outlaw Pass 1 to 5 and they're, you, they're actually saying Outlaw Pass 5 is no different to any other Outlaw Pass. Sorry, that is delusional. <laughs> that is so delusional. I, I, you know, People know me, okay? I'm, I speak the truth. I say it how it is. When it comes to YouTube videos, because you're, you're, you know, you're being real. I'm a real person. I like to be real in what I talk about. And you know, comment down below. And let me know what you think. You watching? Let me know what you think about the Outlaw Pass Five. Seriously, have you been around since day one and you think that is good, or have you been around since day one and you think the same as me? You know, I'm even going to say, I will say, uh, PVP Cat great youtuber um I'm, I'm really loving the guy uh he's I, I watch him a lot he's a great guy and my views are his views as well we've we you know we, we talk we we talk about the same things with the outlaw pass and we agree with each other that the outlaw pass 5 is horrible is horrible that yeah we get our cosmetics like we do in every past because they can be helpful you know uh ammunition parcels um you know all that good stuff uh collectible parcels it all helps you know we get some good stuff belt buckles and and but if you really look at this pass it's the laziest pass ever it's only 80 ranks it's 80 ranks which ain't too bad but it is only 80 ranks we normally have 100 and put it this way at the end of every outlaw pass that we've had other than five the outlaw pass five at the end, we get a whole outfit, all in one whole outfit. John Marston outfit, Arthur Morgan's original outfit, and Winter outfits, all in one. But in this Outlaw Pass 5, we got a whole outfit, but we had to unlock the outfit in sections. And that was just so Rockstar could take up space in the Outlaw Pass. It's lazy. Now, on top of that, you un the outf outfit we get in Outlaw Pass 5 is a whole outfit. But in the Outlaw Pass 5, we unlock it in different sections, different ranks as we're going through the Outlaw Pass 5. When you finish the Outlaw Pass 5, which one of my friends have, that's how I know this. Shout out to uh, SG Supremacy. Um, yeah, you know, he's got the outfit, right? But he thought because we unlock the outfit individually through the Outlaw Pass 5 that we then have to put the outfit on individually to make the actual outfit. No, you don't. 
when you finish the Outlaw Pass 5, when you go to your wardrobe, the whole outfit is there for you to put on under the outfit category. So why did they put the outfit for individual parts to unlock to make the whole outfit? It's, it, it was to make it was to take up spaces in the Outlaw Pass 5 because they couldn't be bothered to add more different things. On top of that, it's only 80 ranks, not 100. If you go back, if you go and watch the video that is in the description, me covering Outlaw Pass 1 to 5, you'll also notice that when you get your gold back during the Outlaw Pass, it was a 5 gold bar voucher. Now it's only 3. And they've done that to take up even more spaces in the Outlaw Pass. They, they added a, a fake beard that was pointless i get the fun side of it i guess you know some players uh, commented the other day said uh they like it you know it's not the end of the world liking that you know i can see why people would like it it's just one item from the outlaw pass you're entitled to like it but for people and youtubers to say the outlaw pass 5 is no different to any other outlaw pass we've had sorry but that is delusional what are they seeing what are you seeing I'm I'm seeing I, man I'm seeing something completely different. I'm on with my team every single day, and we all say the same thing. We all agree with each other that it's an awful pass. It's the latest laziness. The pass is lazy. They're so lazy on what they've done and how they've done the pass. Even the emotes. I covered a video on each emote in the Outlaw Pass Five. That the emotes are actually digs at us players, us veterans. You know, basically saying this is all you're getting. Just give up. We'll post a. We'll, we'll post. We'll we'll drop a content. We'll drop content when we want, when we please. That's what. The impressions I get from the Outlaw Pass fire for the emotes, anyway. Um, but yeah, this outfit, you know, you get the jacket right at the end, but you don't need to put it all on individually. You can, I believe, but you don't need to do that. You just go to your outfits category and you can put the whole outfit on. So, why wasn't the whole outfit an option? They could have just put the whole outfit at the at rank 80 for you to unlock. So why have they done it individually? To take up spaces. So it's less for them to do. And less for them to put in the Outlaw Pass. You know, It's ridiculous. It's laziness. And I'm just... My mind is blown. My mind is blown from what I'm hearing of people saying that it's no different to any other pass. They like it. It's a great pass. No, it's not. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm just speaking the truth and saying it how it is. But it's not good. It's not a good pass. I don't know what you're looking at. You've got to be delusional. Seriously. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, PvP Cat put a, po a poll out on YouTube. Say it, and it had 22,000 votes asking people, is the Outlaw Pass 5 good? 94% said no. So what does that tell you? <laughs> it's I don't know what people certain people are seeing but again no judgment you know no hate it is what it is it's their opinion they're entitled to it but i'm also entitled to mine and i'm with the people you guys that are watching that <laughs> have commented to me recently and and said how awful the past is i'm with you uh we, we can only pray for the future for for red dead online but that is the video drop a like if you guys don't mind and if you're new consider subscribing turning on that bell Comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm SG. I'll catch you guys next time.